The nation's most populous state, California, has the worst air quality in the country. But the advanced clean truck regulation approved last month aims to change that by requiring manufacturers of commercial vehicles to start selling electric trucks by 2024. Nikola has over $10 billion worth of pre-orders on semi-trucks. Uh, so we're excited, obviously, any sort of regulation that's put in place that rapidly accelerates us from diesel technology to towards zero emission technology is advantageous to our business model. Already giving a boost to several companies working on clean technology, the regulation aims for a gradual shift, setting a target of 100,000 electric trucks in California by 2030 and 300,000 by 2035, with the ultimate goal of reaching only electric trucks by 2045. By announcing this mandate, not only you are sending a signal that it's time to start preparing these technologies, but you are also telling the market that the buyers will come up once the technology is ready. But associations representing truck owners and small businesses worry that switching to electric trucks may be costly and less reliable. So they depend on the equipment that they operate. They buy those things that make economic sense for them because they'll do the job and they will be reliable. And again, technology can improve so many things, but again, it's hard not to have a, a reasonable level of apprehension because if it doesn't perform, it can certainly put you out of business. Long charging hours for heavy truck batteries and lack of infrastructure for charging stations are among their concerns. But diesel trucks are the largest single source of air pollution in California, responsible for 70% of the smog-causing pollution. When we tackle climate change, we actually also solve our local air pollution problems because somehow they are correlated and they have to do with the kinds of fuels that our vehicles and our trucks use. Removing diesel trucks from the roads, California estimates will eliminate 60,000 tons of hazardous nitrogen oxides, preventing more than 900 premature deaths and saving at least $9 billion in public health benefits. Fifteen other states have also joined California's lead on stricter emission standards for trucks at a time when the federal government's been pushing for the contrary. Edistian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.